Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to show that this equation right here is indeed true. We are just going to do it by brute force using the exponential function definition of the sine right here and the cosine and the cosine. So let us dive right in. I would like to start off with this side right here. And I want you guys to remember that we can express the sine, for example, the sine of x as nothing but e to the i times x minus e to the negative i times x over 2 times i. And the cosine is nearly the same, just with a plus sign in here and no i down here. So what exactly is this right hand side right here? We are going to have two times. Okay, now the mess is going to start. So we are going to have e to the i times, okay, a minus b over 2 minus e to the negative i a minus b over 2 over 2 times i. And then we have the cosine part, which is something over 2. So we have e to the i a plus b over 2 plus e to the negative i a plus b over 2. And you might notice that this right here is multiplicative. So what we can do, we can cancel out one of the twos right here. And you see we are going to get a common factor of 2i down here. So this is already good. So if we just write this difference in this form right here, we are going to have 2i down here in the denominator. So that's already quite good. So we are going to have something with over 2 times i. What else do we have? Well, we can just multiply all of this stuff together and see what we get. So we are going to have at first this part. So we have e to the i times a minus b over 2. I'm just going to write everything out and then we are going to make more sense of it. Times e to the i a plus b over 2. Okay, so this and that is a way. Now we can multiply this with that together. So positive e to the i a minus b over 2 e to the negative i times a plus b over 2. Okay, this part done completely. Now we got this and this with negative signs. So negative e to the negative i a minus b over 2 times e to the i a plus b over 2. And now for the last part, once again with a negative sign, that's supposed to be an e right here. So we have e to the negative i times a minus b over 2 times e to the negative i a plus b over 2. That's a lot of work. And now we can use the exponential rules because you see e to the a times e to the b is nothing but e to the a plus b. Okay, so keep this in mind. That's a nice little functional equation in the real and complex numbers. What is going to cancel out? Well, at first this and that is going to cancel out if we use this rule. What else? So you see this negative sign can be distributed into here. So we have negative a over 2 and positive a over 2. So this right here is going to cancel out. Next up is this part. So we have negative a and then we have positive a right here. Just like before. This is going to cancel out in the process. And also we have this part. So we are going to have, um, let me see if I'm doing everything correctly. That's a lot of stuff right here. So we've got this, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So we have negative b. Okay, and then we get positive b right here. Okay, so this and that is going to cancel out in the process because we have this negative sign here and everything. Okay, what are we going to get? Now we are going to get e to the i times. Okay, this is a over 2 plus a over 2. This is just a. Okay, coolio. So we've got this right here over 2 times i. Let's put it that way. And also we have um, e to the i times, okay, this is negative, bring this negative sign to the front. So we have e to the negative i times b, okay? Plus e to the negative i times b. Also, so this is done and this is done. Also we have, okay, negative sign, e to the something. Then we have negative and negative is going to become positive. So positive i and positive i is a common factor. b over two plus b over two is just b. So pos uh, positive um, e to the, i times b, okay, and on this part negative e to the, okay, we have negative i as a common factor and also we have a over 2 plus a over 2 is just a. Okay, you see if we track this out a bit, we are going to get e to the i times a minus e to the negative i times a over 2 times i and you see this right here is nothing but the sine of a 
by this exponential definition that we have. Okay, this is already good. And we have e to the negative i times b, so plus e to the negative i times b minus e to the i times b over 2 times i. But here's the thing, we want to get a negative sign up front to get our negative sign of b. So why not multiply this by negative 1 or drag negative 1 to the outside, let's put it that way. This is going to become positive and negative right here. And well, this is nothing but negative, okay, I put negative to the outside, negative sign of b. It's just a little addition formula that I'm going to need soon, so that's why I'm deriving it. It's nothing special right here, maybe you have heard of this before. Maybe there are better ways to do this right here by using the um, the definition of the uh, addition formula for the di difference of arguments and yeah, the positive composition of arguments right here. Never mind all that. I thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, make a comment, channel if you like. I don't like deriving stuff like this, it's just boring and no one wants to see it. But if you did watch this video up until the end, I thank you guys so much. Now until the next video, have a flamble day. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Selfie. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> mm. Oh, dieser Fokus. Ich krieg alles ins Gesicht. Eile Mayo. Andi.